Let's now come to the definition of convex functions. So, uh, in order to uh, cover um, also constraints with uh, convex functions, um, uh, so we want to incorporate the constraints into the function. Uh, our our functions are functions into the extended real line. I write it as R bar and we define this as the set of real numbers together with plus and minus infinity. So this, this is the set of extended real uh, numbers or the ex extended real line. Okay, and why are we doing this? Um, if a function takes the value plus infinity and it has points where it takes real v values, uh, then the point with plus infinity will never be uh, a minimum. And so this is the uh, this is a, an, a very elegant way to also cover the uh, uh, cover constraints or have constraint sets in our objective function. And we will also see in, uh, that uh, for convex functions there is a very natural duality rel relation and. Um, you, you will get functions which take the value plus infinitely automatically with this duality and therefore it's needed anyway even if we didn't want to incorporate constraints. Okay, so let's talk a bit about how to calculate in, in, in the, on the extended real line plus infinity plus plus infinity should obviously be plus infinity and uh, should also be the, this should be the same as plus infinity minus minus infinity and what do we also need we need the same for minus infinity so minus infinity plus minus infinity uh, equals minus infinity and this should also be the same as. Mm, mm, do we need more? We need minus infinity, minus plus infinity. Okay. And we take uh, lambda times plus infinity equals plus infinity um, for all lambda greater than zero uh, lambda times minus infinity equals minus infinity for all uh, lambda greater than zero um, lambda times um, uh, lambda times plus infinity equals minus infinity for all lambda less than zero and lambda times minus infinity equals plus infinity for all uh, negative lambda, obviously. Okay, so now these are the obvious things and we will see that we might want to have a bit more. Um, so I, I leave a bit of space and we, we might see which, which other relations might be convenient. Uh, so let, let us come to, to the definition here and we will now see why uh, these things matter. So a function, uh, let's call it f, it maps from our uh, standard inner product space, finite dimensional inner product space to uh, the extended real line is called convex if for all uh, x and y in H and lambda between 0 and 1 
the following inequality holds. I, I had already, already mentioned this in our motivational section. So we take a mixture. We have seen uh, what this means in the, in the, in the uh, video on convex sets. 1 minus lambda times x plus lambda times y. And we get an estimation by the mixture of the function values. So 1 minus lambda f of x plus lambda f of y. And that's our definition. And the thing is, why, why, why do we, we need some extra definitions um, if we if we set lambda equal to zero here, then we, we, we don't want to get complications with minus infinity. So if we set lambda to zero, then this should be zero whenever f of y is minus infinity. If, if this were smaller than zero, then um, we might get problems here whenever we are in a point where we have minus infinity. So we want to define zero times minus infinity um, equal to zero. And for, for other reasons we want to define zero times plus infinity for now as plus infinity. In practice these two do not really matter because uh, first of all, most of our function will, f most of our functions will never take the value minus infinity, and uh, also we we usually don't multiply zero with plus infinity. Um, but this is just in order that this definition makes sense. Okay. We might also want to discuss um, here that we don't want to get problems with minus infinity here uh, when we add a value and minus infinity because this would basically destroy everything in between. So we want to set plus infinity uh, plus minus infinity uh, and this should be the same as minus infinity plus plus infinity and this should be plus infinity and again otherwise if we had minus infinity here uh, this might uh, in, in some cases if you had plus infinity and minus infinity we, we still want this inequality to hold and therefore these things but again in practice it won't matter but this is just for the sake of, of uh, well-definedness. Okay, so this is our definition. Uh, let's now give some examples. So, uh, first example, any norm in a vector space, or on a vector space probably, is convex. Why is that? Uh, this is a one, basically one line proof. So for norms, we, we don't have to care about plus or minus infinity. Norms always take finite values. So we have a norm of 1 minus lambda x plus lambda y. And uh, this will be um, less or equal than one minus lambda, norm of lambda uh, one minus lambda x plus norm of lambda y. Why is that? Here we use the tri in, tri triangle inequality, uh, which tells us that for any norm we can um, we have uh, some uh, norm of sum of two vectors is less or equal than sum of the norms. And this is equal to 1 minus lambda uh, norm of x plus lambda times norm of y. And why is this? This is because 1 minus lambda and lambda are positive numbers and therefore we can pull them out of the norm. And you see the function here, uh, if the norm is f, taking the norm is f, then this is exactly convexity. 
Okay, so um, this is actually true for any norm. As you, as you see, we, we only have used the triangle inequality. Um, but um, now, we, uh, in, in our spaces, usually our norms are, um, are uh, induced by an inner product. But as you see, we have not used that. Okay, so uh, next example for a set, let's call it S. Um, subset of our Hilbert space, the so-called indicator function is defined as, it's a function, it's called delta S, it's a function from H to, uh, here we need R bar, And we have delta S of x is 0 if x is in the set plus infinity if x is not in S. Okay, so this is the, in the indicator function and here we see we have used the plus infinity. Um, and then we see delta uh, delta s is convex if and only if s is convex is a convex set okay why is that basically we have to um, as you see here Whenever f of x is plus infinity or and f of y is plus infinity, since we have this relation, uh, the right hand side will automatically be plus infinity, so there is nothing to prove. So, um, so whenever x is not in the set or y is not in the set, then um, the right hand side is plus infinity um, and then anything is less or equal than plus infinity. I did not explicitly write these order uh, relations here but they should be clear. Okay, so uh, it suffices to show this inequality for x in s. So if x is in S and y is in S, then by convexity of the set S, we have 1 minus lambda of 1 minus lambda x plus lambda y also is in x, S. So f of this point is 0. And this is exactly the same as um, 1 minus lambda f of x plus lambda f of y. Okay, and the other direction, um, for the other direction, you would show that um, whenever um, so now we have shown if S is a convex set, then um, the indicator function is non-convex. And for the other direction, we can, say, we, uh, we can show whenever S is not convex, then there exists a, a point, a, a pair of points X and Y, such that um, 1 minus, uh, and uh, a lambda between 0 and 1, such that this is not in S. And then the function value at this at these points will be zero 
Uh, so you have zero on the right hand side and the function value at this point will be plus infinity. So uh, let's quickly write this down. I have some space here. Okay. So if, if, f, if s is not convex, then um, by the, like the, con, uh, the con converse of the definition, there exist x and y in s, and lambda between 0 and 1, such that um, 1 minus lambda uh, x plus lambda y is not in s, and therefore, and then we have f of 1 minus lambda x plus lambda y equal plus infinity, and this is strictly larger than 1 minus lambda f of x plus lambda f of y, which is 0. And this concludes our example. So whenever we have a convex set, we can uh, define um, a, a convex function by taking the indicator function. And uh, in the next section, we will, we will see uh, um, more examples and how to build, other, build convex functions from other convex functions.